There's nothing like enjoying time in the backyard with family and friends. Wouldn't it be great if you could extend your enjoyment of the great outdoors? With this wonderful backyard fireplace and grill, you can. In the next few minutes, we're going to show you how easy it is to assemble a backyard fireplace and barbecue that will provide you with years of problem-free operation. The proud makers of the fireplace grill have done all the pre-assembly work for you. With the help of a couple of friends, you can easily assemble your grill and enhance your outdoor activities for family and friends. Before you begin the installation, we'd like to thank you for your purchase. We know that you, like so many of our satisfied customers, are going to enjoy this unique enhancement to your outdoor lifestyle. As with any product, it's always a great idea to take a little time to review the assembly instructions. These can be found in the packaging and on our website for your convenience. Before beginning assembly, become familiar with the parts, laying them out to help avoid confusion once you've started the project. The tools for assembly are simple and few. A container for mixing water, a one and a half inch putty knife, a coarse brush, and finally, a level. Make sure you have heavy work gloves to protect your hands and wrists, and it's always a good idea to use a back support when moving and lifting heavy objects. This brings us to a very important point, safety. Our quality products are known for their strength and beauty and are made of reinforced concrete and quartz. As always, when you're lifting and moving large objects, make sure you lift with your knees and not with your back. Coordinate the assembly with your friends before you begin so that everyone knows their part. This will not only ensure that there are no mistakes, but will also decrease assembly time. Now, let's select a site for your new fireplace and barbecue grill. First, select a site that is at least three feet away from any combustible surfaces or material. Make sure the site is clear from anything above it, including porches or tree branches. If you choose a concrete site, a 4-inch reinforced foundation is recommended. A wooden deck must be rated at a minimum of 400 pounds per square foot. You may want to consult with a builder or the deck manufacturer for more information. Installation of additional reinforcement may be necessary. Once you've selected your site, clean the surface and check to see if it's level. At this point, you may use coarse sand or shims to stabilize and level the base plate. Shims are also useful when leveling on a wooden deck. You now need to make a decision about your grill. You can choose to mortar all sections of the grill, or you can choose to mortar only the upper sections. Regardless, the upper portion must be mortared for safety, stability, and proper flue operation. We recommend that all sections be mortared for years of trouble-free operation and enjoyment. The mortar should be prepared just before you're ready to use it. Pour one quarter of the provided dry mix into a container. Slowly add water and stir. When ready, the mortar should have the consistency of toothpaste. Using the putty knife, apply the mortar in a 1 8 inch thickness over the entire surface. Mix additional mortar as needed. After setting each section, you'll want to apply a bead of mortar to fill the seams between the parts. Clean away the excess mortar with water and a coarse brush. This will give your fireplace grill a finished look. Once you're satisfied that your base plate is level and securely placed, you're ready to begin assembling your fireplace and barbecue grill. The first section to be set up is the wood storage base. Place the storage base securely on the base plate. It should be centered left to right with the base plate. The front to back positioning can be made to your liking as long as it doesn't overhang the base plate. Check the level of the wood storage base. It may need to be adjusted with shims. The firebox ledge is set on top of the wood storage base. Center it from left to right. Now we're ready to assemble the firebox. It should be centered and aligned with the wood storage base. The inner firebox is made up of several pieces. Take a few minutes to be sure the pieces are properly oriented. The grooves should face the inside fire area. On the side pieces, check that the edge that is beveled faces forward. Begin with the rear refractor by placing it on the back of the hearth. Center it from left to right. Then the side refractors are slid into place by fitting them in the grooves of the rear refractor. 
By using the grill, you can check for proper width and alignment of the inner firebox. The grill should move easily from one height to another and be level. Place the firebox base with the corrugated surface facing up and the beveled edge to the front. The last part of the inner firebox is the hood. It should sit evenly centered on the top edges of the side refractors. The last piece of the firebox is the outer hood. While placing this section, you will need to tilt the hood forward before lifting it onto the fireplace grill. This will allow you to clear the top of the inner hood. Once in place, carefully make adjustments to the outer hood so that it overhangs the outer firebox base by one half of an inch. Mortar is required to complete the upper sections of your grill. Apply the mortar to the upper edge of the outer hood. Vertically lift and place the first flue section. Apply mortar to the upper edge of the first flue section. Before placing the next piece, set the spark arrestor in place. Then, set the second flue section into place. The last step is to apply mortar to the legs of the chimney cover. Set it into place and clean away any excess mortar. The finishing touches include the grate, grill, and ash box. Your fireplace grill will be ready to use in about six hours. The mortar is going to require 24 hours to fully cure and set. Take care not to overburn the unit with the use of high burning coal, wood pellets, or other non-approved fuels. It is rated for 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. If the unit is wet, Start with a smaller fire and allow the fireplace grill to dry out before adding more coal or wood. If so desired, the copper surfaces can be kept free of patina with the use of a copper polish or metal cleaner. With some basic maintenance and safe use, your backyard fireplace and barbecue grill will provide years of service.